We're going to close tonight with a mystery. It involves the moose population in Minnesota, which in some parts of the state has been cut in half in the last five years. As Don Daler shows us, solving the riddle of disappearing moose starts by finding some to examine. The serenity of the Superior National Forest in northeastern Minnesota is shattered by the roar of a low-flying helicopter. Inside, pilot Blake Mallow and marksman Trent Brown zero in on their target, a female moose and her calf. Like a cowboy working a herd, Mallow banks the chopper to push the animals into the clear. There's a whole process where you try and work the animal to a certain area, kind of like uh, cutting a horse. You kind of work the helicopter the same way to get it to an opening. Once in the opening, Mallow swoops in low and Brown takes his shot. This one brings the 1,000-pound moose to her knees. The main challenge uh, would be to try and uh, get the animals in a place that uh, we can get to them efficiently. It's very cold here. The wind chills have fallen to as much as 40 degrees below zero. Not exactly ideal laboratory conditions for these researchers. They've set the goal at 20 minutes between darting the animal, harvesting the samples, and getting the moose back on its feet again. She's at 104.6 right now. The team take blood and hair samples, pull a tooth, install a radio collar and GPS, and make the cow swallow a high-tech sensor that will tell the team if a tagged moose has died. Oh. Michelle Karstensen runs the study for the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. Is there a possibility that there will be no more moose in Minnesota in the foreseeable future? It's possible. The trajectory really shows we're being out, going to be out of moose by 2025. And even if we can figure that out, having a tools on hand to do anything about it is the next challenge. Researchers say climate change is a suspect, but there may be no single smoking gun. Habitat loss, deaths from parasite-borne disease, and from wolf attacks are all part of the equation. Mallow and Brown are considered among the best at what is a very dangerous but necessary job. You know, I think we take a lot of pride in just the way that we handle the operations from our end and uh, trying to keep it safe for, uh, you know, the animals. Hold on. And trying to keep them a part of the Minnesota landscape for as long as possible. Don Daler, CBS News in northern Minnesota.